There we go. Right, we're back. With the Bish, right bash, bash. That repair depot, I could get my old vehicle operation up and running again. Old vehicle operation? Did she used to repair vehicles? That's a really, really good little watchtower he's got there. That is awesome. The new stuff I brought back. Yeah, yeah, we've got to change our weapon for a start. Because we're not doing good on that end of things. Uh, boom. Get rid of that. Bish, bash, bosh. Uh, let's use a camera. Ooh. Eh, I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna switch that out. I don't really want to use a screwdriver, a rusty screwdriver. It's not very appealing. Right. Let's see what we've got going on. So she wanted me to upgrade that. So we need some scraps of circuitry. Okay. We can also start putting in some more stuff if we need it. What have we already got from here? Four beds and basic shelter. Barracks, Spartan Barracks, Luxury Barracks. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. 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 An expert drill instruction. I wonder if... No. Hmm. Surely we're not going to see Eric. He's He's got the Blood Plague. Hasn't he? Maybe? Let's start boosting the yield. We've not got any fret level from, like, doing anything. Which is a bit weird. Oh, the outpost center. Oh, okay. I wonder if... Does that do that in the base game? I don't think it does. Right, uh, I don't know what I want to build. Build a fabricator shop. No, we need an expert in fabrication. So these seem like they're all going to be survivors that we're going to pick up. So maybe we're not going to get these in the base game. Again, I won't have checked the comments on the first video yet. Um, I'm recording episodes one and two back to back. And then uh, starting my uploads. Uh, okay, okay, okay. We need circuitry. Where can we get circuitry from? Scraps of bloody circuitry. Oh, I need some gasoline. Gasoline. Right, we, we're going to have to, like, go off into, like, a town or something. Oh. Oh, there we go. It's already put it on the map for us. It's a mission. Yeah, I'm not surprised. It's a really, really good base, uh, Malik. You should be the leader, because you were the last one here. In fact, shall we take Malik out? On a date? No. <laughs> we're going to take him out for a little bit of a trip. Oh, shit. I've got to get him some stuff first. It'd probably help. He's got a bloody shotgun. Look at him. What a leg end. Uh, take some of those. Brilliant. How much has he got? Oh, he's got quite a bit. I'm not saying that a dinosaur-themed gas station is the weirdest place to live, but it's got to be top ten, right? Mm. Mm. No. I can think of a few things that might be a little bit higher. Living in a jelly house. <laughs> That's pretty weird. A pretty weird place to live. I feel like there's loads. But she's just not... Living inside of a pink tree. Um, <laughs> living inside of a car made out of underwear. That'd be pretty mad, I guess. Living in a house out of flesh. I think that tops dinosaur gas station. <laughs> oh dear, that's the task. Comment down below a weirder place to live than a dinosaur themed gas station. <laughs> oh dear. I'm really enjoying this. I think this is really, really cool and refreshing and I'm glad that they've put effort into giving us a story. Um, I really, really like the whole sandbox aspect to the point where like, I want to now play this sandbox, but I don't think, because we only seem to have like one base on the map so far, I, I don't think fast. that's going to be an option. Which might be a mistake on their end, but I mean, I'm playing the DLC for free. I can't complain. <laughs> oh god. It gives me endless hours of content. It would be wonderful, I can milk it dry. I'm going to try and do as much as possible. Um, I, I'm not going to be able to upload any more frequently than once a day for this. Because it, it did literally come out of nowhere. It did come out of nowhere. <laughs> On the days that Nightmare Zone drops though, it'll just, it'll go alongside this basically. We'll, we'll, we'll get both. Right, let me mark there. I'm just going to also search this house just to see if we can get a couple. In fact, no, I'm not because I don't think we're going to need a couple more things to be honest. We've already got like the bloody 
thing up there set up, and it's about to get upgraded, it's providing two a day. It's probably going to provide three or four a day. Yeah, we'll be fine. The only thing we need really is meds, but we've got some. We've just got given some. Oh dear, so I was meant to be recording with Aiden tomorrow, aka today, the day that this goes out on, and I had to like hastily cancel my plans with him. If you don't know who Aiden is, I do some of my other content with him. Um, I had to like hastily uh, rearrange it. I was like, I know it's a pain in the backside, but I kind of need to rearrange. <laughs> Something's come up last minute. I was like, I'm going to have to record so much of this in advance to keep on top of it. But I'm fine with it, because it's new. I'm so happy that they've brought it out. And it's, it's so far, it's really high quality. I didn't expect them to put this much effort into it all. It looks like, you know, SOD1 brought into SOD2, and I'm really, really happy with it. I might do a review for it tomorrow. I don't know. I don't know if people would watch a review. I also don't know if I've played enough of it to uh, upload a review. Maybe a review was a bad idea. <laughs> Quickly backtracks out of an idea. Right, there we go. We can now upgrade that. Boom. And it's done it instantly. We can now craft advanced toolkits. We can craft circuitry. Craft vehicle upgrade kits. So I've never built these. Because I've never had anybody in my team that is able to do so. Ooh. I'm back. It was very graceful, Malik. Right, is there anything I need to do? Just build your community. Improve your base by rebuilding damaged facilities. Something just saved. <laughs> okay, that was weird. Right, we're going to go into here. I'm going to build one of these. I don't know if I had to build one of those, but it was like flickering with the orange thing. So I'm assuming maybe I did. I don't know. Oh! We've got this. A fuel extractor. It gives us four fuel per day. Fill up a small gas can that we can use to refuel as well. Okay. That's mad. They've got to let us build some of these in standard mode. In just like normal sandbox SOD2. Oh god, it's okay Aunt Fee, don't worry about it. You'll be fine. Look at this place. That farming complex is mad. Look at this. Jeez. I like that it's got the uh, shipping containers as well, because everybody loves the uh, the container fort. <laughs> it's like, well, we've got to put more. We've got to put more containers on here. Look at this place. It's awesome. And we've got some things to search at the back of the base, which I can't get to at the moment. Maybe there's a back door. That I've not seen. I would have thought there would have been. I've just rhymed. <laughs> For fuck's sake. I'll be back later. Ah. There's a toilet there. And a military SUV that I didn't even see. I've just rhymed again. Right, let me go get me advanced repair kit and we'll bring that back. One minute, there's two cars. Okay, okay. We're going to get some cars built up here. So I'm guessing that's why... Oh! Okay, I've got a theory. That maybe in the other DLC you get a different base. Because it's pretty fitting for somebody that specialises in vehicle repairs and upgrades to have a base at a gas station. It's kind of like a little bit ironic. At least in my opinion. So maybe when you go looking for Ray Santos you have a base in Marshall. Which now makes a lot more sense. I'm, I'm very very interested to see what they do with that. I'm just going to avoid as much content on this game as I can so that it's all surprising for me. <laughs> right, military SUV, repaired. I sounded like a fucking Halo Wars command then. <coughs> ODST, researched. Right, let's get this gas in. Get the gas in. We're going to go park the military SUV round front once we've searched these toilets. Get some uh, supplies coming in. Hello, hello. That base is very, very overpowered, and I'm very, very surprised uh, surprised that it's overpowered. 
Oh, I lost the SUV for a second there. Cooey! Oh god, we need to start getting rid of this, like, blood plague. There's so many of them. So damn tired. I know, so am I. <laughs> so am I, but the show must go on, Malik. Right, let's go inside. I know that there's a thing right there. I'll search in a second. Um, I've got some recommendations for people. If you haven't already, go watch the new season of Black Mirror. Very, very good. It's an anthology TV show, if you've never heard of it. Highly recommend it. It's got an episode for everyone. There's at least one episode that you're bound to love. I sound like I've been sponsored by it. I haven't, but I'm open to it. Charlie Brooker, hit me up. <laughs> one of my favourite writers of all time at the moment because he's just he's a magician at tomfoolery and plot twists and depressing shit happening <laughs> it's kind of like game of thrones sort of prepare to be disappointed <laughs> but it's just so good but yeah go check that out i highly recommend it if you haven't already and uh, i also binge watched bodyguard recently the full first season of it and it was mental it was a bit slow in some parts, but it was mental at the end, and it, that, like uh, the beginning and the end. It sort of took a bit of a slow dip in the middle for some nice character building. That's <laughs> what I try and do in this game. Now I don't need to, because we've got a story. Right, I'm going to go and get a gas can. Maybe I've got to switch back to What's-A-Face? What has he got on him? He's got quite a bit, but I can't see him dying anytime soon. Let all that empty space go to waste. Oh, do you want me to start building stuff? Because I can do that. What is it you want me to build? I'm confused. It's got like a little base thing there. Maybe she just wants me to fill up the entire space in the base. The space in the base. Space, space, space. <laughs> uh, let's upgrade that. I thought we'd already upgraded that, but apparently not. And let us upgrade nothing else, because I'm out of things. We need some more materials. Uh, oh my god, okay. If someone has the skills needed to build this, they'll probably find us first. That's very ominous. Om om ominous? Ominous. Ominous, ominous. Uh, let us grab... Oh, I haven't got a fuel can. Give me a fuel can. Give me a fuel can. Right, let's go around and get the military SUV, because we're going to need that. We're going to need that pronto. Okay, we've got to go back to the Wilkerson's. Brilliant, just in time. Okay, then. Make sure you're ready to get into some trouble. Oh! Travel to the old Wilkerson place. Is that just because it's like beaten and broken down and stuff? Or is that literally like their second base now? And they've got somewhere bigger. Maybe they've got like that homestead in the centre of the map. That'd be a pretty good place for them. Just control that entire farmland area. That'd be pretty dope. Oh god, be careful. Right, we're not taking Aunt Fee with us this time. She can bugger off. She's a liability, I'm afraid. Sorry, Aunt Fee. So, she was talking about kicking some ass. Maybe we're going to go straight in and like start dealing with Blood Plague. It, it definitely seems like the Wilkerson's haven't turned over a new leaf. Oh, a supply room. The Santos Workshop. Oh, okay. A little bit of a reference to the other side of things, I guess. That's a bit weird. I didn't expect them to do that this early on. <laughs> I was like mentally thinking between like my first and second session, like, hmm... Wouldn't it be cool if, like, you saw the other characters and stuff? But, like, you link up at the end or whatever, and it's been, like, Ray Santos versus the Wilkerson's or something. Maybe that's what it's going to end up being. I don't know. That'd be pretty cool. I'd be down for it. I'd also be down for taking out play carts so that we can get rid of blood ferals. <laughs> Please. Anything to get rid of them. Anything at all. Oh, dear. And I hope you're enjoying this as well. Um, please refrain from posting any sort of spoiler. Um, if someone does post a spoiler, I'll delete it as soon as I see it. <laughs> so please don't waste your time. 
Um, it's a lot quicker for me to delete a spoiler than it is for you to type and post it, trust me. Um, but yeah, please do refrain from posting them, um, especially if it's within the first few days of this releasing, because I don't want it to spoil for people. Some people genuinely give a shit about this franchise, and I am one of them. So, I'm, I'm personally, I'm, I don't care about seeing the spoiler, if someone does post one, <laughs> but I don't want to, I don't want to ruin it for other people if they see it on my channel. So, feel free to like, discuss other things, and let me know about other things, and like, you know, maybe a character does return, and just say, oh, you'll see a familiar face. <laughs> don't tell me who it is, for God's sake, I'll cry. <laughs> oh. You're a Wilkerson. You'll do what's needed to survive. Yeah, I don't know about that. I seem to be pretty nice. You're gonna find us some detonators. And take that useless sack of meat with you. Um. Oh. Okay. Oh, come on, I can handle this myself. <laughs> like I trust you with this. She's going with you. I can End search this place for some reason. Yes, ma'am. Travels the location given to you by Nat. Oh my God. Okay, so we're going to the Grange. That is a long ass way away. <laughs> Okay, get in. There's probably some fuel over in that car, but we'll sort that on the way. If I run out. It'll be fine. Oh! We're back in the car! So, what's the deal with you and Nat? She doesn't seem to like you much. Nah, she's just like that. Everybody loves me. Uh. Yeah. Something I did find interesting, and I don't know if people will have noticed, but when you load the game up and it gives you that sort of brief overview as to what you're actually going to expect from the DLC, um, it does say it's the first major expansion. So, all I'm saying is, keep your eye out, because it seems like they, you know, they're not going to be releasing SOD free next year by the looks of things, if they're going to be releasing more of these. Um, I can't imagine this was easy to make from the labs, considering... I'll, I'll be polite, but considering how slow they've been with content, let's just put it that way. I won't say a word like lazy, <laughs> um, but I have, I have voiced my opinions on sort of the state of SOD2, let's just put it that way. It hasn't lived up to the DLC of SOD1, and I know that it's had more DLC and stuff, but who... Let's be honest, who needed Daybreak? Okay? Even the day that it came out, I did like one episode on it, and that was it. I've played it like twice since then, and one of those times it was for YouTube, like for the, like one of the previous playthroughs to get like Burke or whatever his name was, in like season two of Nightmare Zone. Other than that, <laughs> let's be real, Daybreak isn't that good. Uh, some of the packs are like completely useless Like a lot of the vehicle packs are just absolutely horrific to use. I like this little military checkpoint that's set up here That's gonna be really really good for outposts That's gonna be really really cool It would be nice if you could pick whether you want to set up like a traditional outpost or one of the new outposts so whether you wanted it to just be a, like a collection point, or whether you wanted to turn it into like a, a Molotov uh, bombardment outpost, I guess. I guess. I guess. I guess. I don't know what happened there. I started evolving into another nationality. Right, we're not too far away. We're not too far away. But yeah, like. I'm trying to think of what other DLC there was. Nightmare Zone and Dread Zone is easily the best DLC that's come out, at least in my opinion. I know that there might be some people out there that prefer Daybreak, but I, I really, really like things that get added to the base game. And this is really, really close to that, in a way. They, they need to add a version of the map where you can visit different bases and shit. By all means, give us the Jurassic junction base in like just standard zone but make it like 5,000 influence or something or 6,000 influence or something mad like that because it's so overpowered of a base but I'll be I'll be a little bit disappointed if like the facilities and stuff haven't passed over usually whenever they do release 
like something like Daybreak, they added things into the standard zone. So, I mean, maybe they have. Again, I won't know, because I haven't checked the comments on the previous video, if anybody's let me know. Oh god, there's like new obstacles in the road. <laughs> this isn't good. I'm also losing my voice because I'm like, I'm being so enthusiastic about it and I'm smiling so much because it's just nice to be playing here again. But it being SOD2. So this is what the Grange turned into. See, it would be cool if they turned this into a this base that you could place. live in, in standard zone. So bad, right? You are seriously full of shit. Oh my god, it's a play cart. The Grange got fucked. And really overgrown. It's okay, I'm here, I'm here. I was about to say, I don't really know if it would be this overgrown after like a year or something, but then I just realised the state of my front garden. <laughs> so, yeah, I believe it actually. God, I am so sick of plague zombies. Yeah. After we clear Get out used the to them. We're here for, have to me. Oh, if I had known, I would have brought some explosives with me. Is it up? No, I thought it was like up top somewhere. I don't know why. Ah, shit. I also realised there's like a flaw in my idea of the Wilkerson's being immune, because that would make me immune. And they wouldn't do that. <laughs> that would be too easy. Oh shit, okay, okay, okay. Okay, people. Okay, calm down. Put your golden deagle away, you fucking show off. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Cool. I mean. Fuck your bitching. I wonder if like the game would end or something if he died. Let's make this man count, kiddos. Like, it didn't make me reload the full gun again. That's nice. Right, where is this play cart? It's definitely going to be in here, isn't it? We've cleared out the main zombies. Is it in this room? Yeah. Oh god, it looks like it's got a little bit of a new texture. It doesn't look as dark as before. It's got like more bones in it. Okay, well, it's nice that 20 fucking bullets only took it down by one wave. Sarcasm, obviously. Search this. Oh, look, it doesn't seem to have drawn in any new zombies. Good enough to pick up a new weapon, isn't it? Oh, it would have been easier for me to just hit it the first time. Hit me, baby, the first time. Oh shit, I didn't realise it was still spewing. I should have realised. Come on, ya motherfucker. Last time. Come on. There we go. Thank you, big boy. Oh, combat knife. Yes, please. We've got like a fucking hunting revolver from Fallout. So search for... Uh, search the industrial steel supply company for a case of laser detonators for Nat. Oh, thank you. Laser detonators. I can work with and this. I found them. <laughs> uh, drop that. Uh, hey, I found it. Hey, I found it. Talking about. You know what? I like you. We should hang out. Uh, uh, no, thank you. Thanks. Let's not rush things, okay? Yeah, I would rather not. So this is where we met the Grange last time. It doesn't look like they furnished that much of it, but I mean, the watchtower that they had isn't here anymore either. To be fair, unless it's not all—I don't know—maybe it got torn down, or they just decided to move base and maybe somebody new moved in there or something, I don't know. Now I really, really want some chocolate spread on bread, I don't know why. <laughs> we're going to need some gas because I don't think we're going to be able to make it all the way back. We might make it to Jurassic Junction though. I'd be very surprised if we do. 
In which case, we'll just swap cars. Oh, I wish you could move shit off the road. Ah, oh, that's why. I'll be honest, when they when they had the, the uh, E3 conference up, um, me and my mate were watching it, I did say, I was like, hmm, I reckon we're going to see SOD 3 announced. Because I just felt like, I don't know, I felt like SOD 2 was just a little bit of a pathway to get to SOD 3. I've said that a couple of times, that I, I feel like they're focusing more on that, but now I'm not so sure, now that they've said that this is going to be the first big expansion. And you get it for free with the Games Pass, which is mad. It's interesting... Well, I'd be interested to know how much money they're making, because they're giving a lot of shit away for, like, free or, like, a dollar or whatever. It doesn't... I don't know. I don't know how many people are going to be buying the full game and the full DLC and stuff. Like, even my mate, he's game sharing with me, so anything I download and install, he gets for free. So it's going to be very, very interesting. In other news, they did announce that they're putting like a, a bunch of new, pretty decent games onto Games Pass. I think they're putting like the Handsome Jack collection on there, which I'm really happy about because I really wanted to play through pre-sequel again. Um, me and Aiden played through Borderlands 2 on the channel a while back, like a long while back, at some point last year. Sort of, I guess early last year now. And we planned to go through the pre-sequel and even recorded the beginning. Oh, fuck. But we just never got around to finishing it. Oh my god, you can't even call in a pissing vehicle. This ain't good. You're gonna have to come with me, mate. Sorry. Come on. Keep running. And I'm out. Don't stop. Don't stop till you get enough. We've got a car uh, right there. I'll go back and get that in the future. Don't worry about it. I'll probably grab it off camera. Um, don't lose your shit. I will grab it. It'll be fine. <laughs> I know a lot of people freak out when I start running places. Coming up to this military checkpoint. Oi, what are you doing? What are you stopping for? Come on, keep running. That's it. The new Star Wars gameplay looks pretty decent. Um, I'm a little bit uncomfortable with it because it looks... A significant amount like a uh, sort of Rocksteady's Arkham combat, but sort of like revamped to have a, a sword basically, which I'm not a massive, massive fan of when games do that. Oh, piss off. Get in, get in, get in. But it does look quite good. I don't think I'm going to be getting it though. Right, would you like to get in, mate? Just fight, it's just one zombie. Fuck's sake. Well, get out and do it to myself. Right, get in. Um, I'm not like a massive fan of when Star Wars starts using like non-lightsaber weapons to fight lightsabers. I know that they do it in Kotor with um, the blades. I forgot what they're called. The Vibra blades. And I'm not even a big fan of that. It was, it's very, very off-throwing. Off-putting. Throws me off. Whatever. Right, park that there. We're going to go get some gas and drop off these things. Because I'm sure that they're heavy as balls. I'm probably going to need to go get that. I'll just put that back. Uh, put those back. I can't see me needing another stimulant. Don't stop till you get enough. I wonder if we're going to end up recruiting Brock. Yo, people, step right up and feed your face. Pardon? Uh, oh. Is it to do with this? <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> so we're on how much now? 1.75, plus he's now boosting the yields on it, so it should go to like 275 or 350, I guess. Right, that's what we need. Da -da 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 -da, that's what we need. Da -da 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 -da. That's I'm gonna need a lighter load soon. Yeah, we'll just take this shotgun, it'll be fine. I can't see me really using it that often anyway. Like I said, I'll get the military truck off camera. I'll just run and get it after we've done this mission, probably. We'll go take Brock back. Right, hop in. Come on. 
Hop on. Boom. Oh god, a nice little spin around. There are so many zombies. Hello. Friendo. It feels like standard zone difficulty with nightmare zone amount of like blood plague zombies. It's a bit weird. Like there's loads of blood plague zombies, but it doesn't particularly feel hard just yet. And I don't want anybody to siphon off that little quote that I just said. Because I will be very upset with you. I will be very upset. I I will become an ASMR channel and I will fuck you up. Um we're not too far away, luckily. I turn to the old books and place with the case of laser detonators. What could they be using laser detonators for? I don't know what a laser detonator is. Is that like you point the laser at something that you want to blow up? Like um, like a fucking orbital strike? Because I'm not interested in that. That's some mad shit. Laser detonators. Maybe it's like tripwires. Like you walk into the, like a Mission Impossible style. Like if you walk into the laser it blows up or something. Maybe it's something like that. That would make a little bit more sense, I guess. But the, why the Wilkerson's would want it, I do not know. I also don't care. I don't want to be involved in it. <laughs> I had no choice but to get them. I love how one of the options was to, like, threaten them not to double cross you. Which is probably what's going to happen now that we've seen it hinted at. Right. This will be fine. This will be perfectly fine. We're not going to get, like, shot or anything. Everything's going to be okay. We're back. Fucking whatever your name is. Nat. What a name. Sorry if your name's Nat. Fuck. This, but this bitch has now called it, so me. the name Nat is forever yo, tainted. Yo, look who's not dead. yo, yo. yo. What you wanted. Are we done? Am I a Wilkerson now? I see you even managed to keep that good-for-nothing Brock alive. I'm impressed. Oh, I could have refused. I'm not refusing after I've just done all that. Thank you. That means a lot to me. Oh fucking hell! Just shot her in the back of the head. Hey, Larice, before you go, can we talk? Oh fucking hell! Join us. You're pretty cool. Hey, an outlaw chemist? Yes, please. Oh wait, there's like two different is there two different kinds of chemist? You think I could crash at your place? You can come with us. I quite like Brock. You mean it? Yes. Hey Nat, I'm gonna go live with Larice now, okay? If you're sure you want him, kid, he's all yours. Yeah, I don't mind. So it looks like we're building some sort of like outlaw base. <laughs> Maybe there's gonna be like two different options for us further down the line. Which would mean a lot of survivors. But I'm going to go take Brock back. And then I will go back and get the military SUV. 